Hi, my name is David Fleming from the Disciples Ignited YouTube channel, where we are focused on Jesus, advancing his kingdom, and preparing his disciples. Now, we started this new series on the YouTube channel of Disciples Ignited. It's called Bible Treasures, where we're helping you memorize scriptures. And this week, we're memorizing 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 9 and 10. So to get started, let's quote that together. Then he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Now, if you've been following along, following along this week, you have probably memorized uh, all of nine and probably most of ten. Today, we're going to be looking at the very last part where Paul says, For when I am weak, then I am strong. That really sums up this revelation that Jesus gave Paul. Jesus has told Paul, listen, I'm not going to get rid of this thorn in your flesh. Even though you have prayed three times, I'm not going to answer your prayer that way. I'm going to answer your prayer in an even better way. I'm going to give you my grace that's going to turn into divine power so that you'll be able to deal with this thorn in the flesh victoriously. And that's exactly what happened. You see, when this thorn in Paul's flesh really just took a hold of Paul and just tormented him, Paul went to the Lord Jesus and said, Lord, you got to get rid of this. Jesus said, no, I'm not going to. But he told him why. He said, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. And we've already studied this week how the Lord gave Paul his grace and Paul began to rely upon God's grace. This thorn in the flesh pressed him to do so. Paul knew that he couldn't deal with this thorn in the, in the flesh with his own power, with his own ability. He had to lean on Jesus to be able to deal with it. And that's what he did. He leaned more and more and more upon God's grace. And God's grace became this explosion of power in Paul's life. And the more that Paul leaned on God's grace, the more the power of God began to manifest in Paul's life to where Paul was able to live through this difficulty that had come against him victoriously. And that teaches us something. When we're going through difficulties and weaknesses and hardships and persecutions, insults, if those things cause us to call upon Jesus and rely upon Jesus and trust in Jesus and depend upon Jesus, that's the good thing because that is going to cause the power of God to begin to explode in our lives and we will become victorious with God's power at work in our lives, giving us victory even in the hardest of times. Tell you what, as we close this, uh, the memorization of this, of these two verses, why don't we quote that together and just cause that thing to, to permeate in our innermost being. So Jesus spoke to Paul and he wrote it down, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 9 and 10. Then he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses and insults and hardships and persecutions and difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. I'll see you next time.